Green light. Give it all you got. All right, good start. Already, <laughs> somebody lost it. Cold tires. Got Q bar. Got a fantastic start. I'm just seeing nothing but people coming together in my rear view, man. Come on, guys. Although it looks like, I don't know, I guess it's hard to tell when it's nighttime. You see headlights come across each other, that doesn't mean they make contact. Well, it looks like Q-Bar lost out on that one. Max and Bulldozer have moved up. Max has moved up quite a few positions, actually. I think he was like 7th or 8th. JB's moved up 2nd. So the question is, will they find pace? Did they warm their tires up better than I did? Did they nail their tire pressures better than I did? So many things can come into play. Well, I get track limit warnings. No bueno. Why it has Kipster ahead of Max Charb, but showing Max Charb in third. Oh, is it going to do that thing where it freezes everyone's time? I've seen that bug before. It's counting kind of bulldozer in 17th. Bulldozer crap. I don't. There must have been a lot of shit happening. Did it bug a ton of people's lap times or something? No? These people go in the pits? Just get in an accident, I guess. Huh? Getting sloppy. All right, bulldozer and RWR fitting. So they must have gotten some damage.
JB and Kipster are having a close race right behind us. The funny thing is, is I don't have the fastest lap of the race. I'm not sure who does. But I'm going to bet it's Legends. Bulldozer and RWR have cleared their pit stops, so we're actually going to hit traffic early. Alright, there we go, the fastest lap. What? I let off the gas. That's not good. Charb is in the pits. A lot of people must have gotten damage. Be interesting to see how the strategy turns out. Alright, JB's pulled a little on Kipster and is real dust in a tiny bit. Either has a ton of damage or he's just, just chewing in the pits. We'll see. Whew, I was worried about that bump there. So many people pitting early. <laughs> I'm just wondering if it's people aren't used to racing in the dark, or if it's just there was one big incident and people are slowly realizing they should pit. JB is sticking with us though. All right, Max is scared his pit stop. Yeah, so some of this, some of these people going to end up coming back if they get some clear traffic or clear road. Fastest of the race, man. Good job. See, JB's right behind us with a two minute point one. Uh, 
haven't rotated the car bit. I'm just gained a little bit on him through the S's. The track warning there. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful. There's a slow car up ahead. into pit around the 23 minute mark. Looks like we'll be on track for that with fuel. into that. Oh, Barry must have had an incident. He hadn't pit yet and is down at 12th. Getting quite the same amount of turn in as we were in practice, but it's okay. Our still feels planted, predictable. Good. 
I definitely didn't lower these to match. The start of the race, so. Let's do that for forgets. So it really wants to rotate under the brakes. I prefer that over understeer, though. Since I've learned, I prefer a car that is kind of loose on edge in the, the rear end. As long as it's got solid turn in, I can keep the rear in control. Even if it wants to rotate some. Feel when this car wants to be unstable. That's how it always goes, right? My uh, my friend just had him and his wife just had a baby uh, this past week, and that's why he's just like, I can't wait for. All my plans to not pan out. It looked like some wild stuff happened in lap one, although in the rear view you can barely see at night, so it might just be, might have looked worse than it was. late. So the fronts, even though I've slid a bit, it seems like the fronts are going a little quicker than the rears, at least by feel. Two more laps for the pit. All right, that was a little better there. Been struggling with turn one the whole time. Was nailing it in quali, and then got two track limit warnings very quickly in the race. Whoa!
Oh, it's such a pain, too. <laughs> At least this track has some straights, but still. The worst is when... You don't realize you forgot to put race fuel in and you're trying to do math while driving too. Trying to figure out how much you need to add and all that. Alright, we got a lot of people pitting out. The traffic will probably come into play soon. Nice. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll do one more lap. Honestly, probably should have done it. A lot of times I like to pit where I have enough fuel to do one extra lap. So that way, uh, if I do accidentally forget to pull in the pit lane or something, I'm not screwed. Because I'm not going to lie, I have had that happen in a two hour endurance race. We are at the halfway mark, still a long way to go. It's like, alright, I got to pit this lap and then totally forget. And that was actually on this track, too. I forgot to pull in the pits, realized when I crossed the line and I had 0.7 liters of fuel left that uh, the hour I had just put into the race was pointless. Yeah, pressures are tricky. There's sometimes I'll forget if I, you know, I know I've changed the ones I'm starting on, and sometimes I'll forget if I adjusted the. Uh, Actual pit stop ones, strategy ones. That's I honestly the ones I'm about to swap to I don't think are going to be perfect because I did forget to adjust them, and I messed with them on the fly a little bit here. But I'm overdriving these tires right now. All right, don't forget a pit. Don't forget a pit. Don't forget a pit. Fastest way around that. Someone knocked the pit speed limit sign. That's probably why a lot of people are getting stuff in, guys. Oh, there's a sign right there. I always try to remember to practice. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good. That is exactly what JB needs right there. I swear the texture through his windshield made it look like that sign was a lot further out than it was. Come my driver excuses. All right. Let's get back out. Let's go, 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 go. And go. How's it show me in first still? Is it got an update? Oh, JB pit behind me. Did he have issues too? See, he didn't. We didn't lose any time next to him. Interesting. Now, what can happen here is, like I said, I don't think my tires. 
Uh, they're gonna be perfect. JB quite possibly could have adjusted his. Dude, everyone is getting <laughs> stop and goes. You could be in last place, and if you just pull into the pits at the right speed, you're gaining like five places probably. I don't think that works. I could be wrong. I think it just applies your, I think it estimates the amount of time it takes and applies it to you at the end. Some having a JB, he dropped back. Q bars made up some places. Oh, Forzy with a stop and go. He started in like 14th or something. He was gaining so many spots by staying out of trouble. Oh, did someone disconnect? I saw the driver count go down to 14 and now it's back up to 15. Forza, why are you speeding, man? Yellow flag in sector one. That's still four places ahead of where he was. It's a tricky part of that corner. You turn in too early, your whole line gets messed up. You turn in too late, you miss the apex, and then you go super wide. I'm trying to see who's in 15th. Someone got disconnected. Save that better, but I was trying to just not have a chance of losing the car. Hubar's reeling people in. He's right on the tail of Kipster. <laughs> yeah. trying to do, I know what he was Car trying to do. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting me to come up that quick.
He was trying to stay off the racing line, and I was trying to—I was assuming he was going to stay on the racing line. Yeah, it, uh, Ooh, good. I kind of have the car set up to have the rear really come around. And if I use, depending on the setup and the temperature and everything, but a lot of times in fourth, it'll push wide. And honestly, I think half the time I still take it in third. There's some corners that I, like this corner right here, sometimes I'll take in first like this, and other times I'll take it in second. It's not even a conscious thing. But I think, I think if you're in third gear on turn one, it gives you a little more leeway. If you don't get the, the entry to the corner perfect, I think fourth gear is if, uh, if you kind of miss the corner entry a bit, you're not able to adjust the line as much. Well See, like, then I have to let off the gas, otherwise I'm gonna go wide. And props to Blue Wolf. He races on Xbox and PC with Box 3. I know the force feedback is a little different, so. Take some dedication. Although I wouldn't be surprised if this is his last season on Xbox, because I think he just moved to PC, but I could be wrong. Another force feedback difference is it seems like the severity depends on the wheel. Thrustmasters seem to be pretty similar. It's a little more detailed on PC, but not completely different. Alright, we have more than enough fuel. What's going to be interesting is in the standings. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'm going to pass Kibar. I think I'll close in on him, but he has a solid lead right now, the overall season. Yeah, I think I put in like 90. I tend to. I just use a fuel calculator, and it doesn't have the one I use doesn't have. The new Audi. So I just use the basic one where you just do race length, your fuel usage per lap, and your lap time. But I tend to overfuel because I'm always scared of running out. Because sometimes I'll find pace during a race and 
end up using more fuel using more fuel per lap because I'm getting on the gas earlier things like that and then because the lap times are slower you may do an extra or faster you may do an extra lap where you wouldn't have otherwise or the leader crosses to start their last lap with like two seconds left on the timer so you gotta do a whole extra lap than you planned things like that Got a 45 minute race feels so short after doing spa last week. Oh god. Woo! Saw that. Car on the left. Clear on the left. <laughs> Apparently this race is the same for we lost a lot of people. I'm interested to see if it's night, if it's just a lot of people got stop and goes and My thing is if if I get a stop and go like especially if it's because the pit speed limiter wasn't there, like I'm gonna be thinking there's gonna be a definitely some other people getting stop and goes and so I'm gonna stay in and take advantage of that all right try to get a little bit of a slipstream if we can gotta get a little closer Car keeps bottoming out on that corner there. Q-Bar is right on Kipster. Q-Bar may end up coming in third. Yeah, you'll be amazed if uh, like you get an accident or something like that and don't quit. You Whoa. Some something is always gonna happen to somebody else. Max Charb is in the pits. Interesting. I wonder if that's for damage or he calculated fuel wrong or Cause the thing is too, even if you come in last, like you get points. You know, you come in 17th. Say, like today we had 17 people. You come in 17th, you're getting 13 points still. That's a huge difference between finishing and not finishing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. 
I'm starting to lose focus a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's how my brother's setup, like I said, was is the same way. He doesn't have. Uh, he almost has the exact same setup as you. It's a Fanatec wheel and a wheel stand. His was the next level racing one, which I think that's the same one you had, but a lot of them look the same. It takes some getting used to going back and forth, but like from sitting close, because I, I have a 55 inch. TV and I sit probably four feet from it, maybe three feet from it. If I had a bigger TV, I would definitely need to sit a tiny bit further. But I know it's a pain because in my my apartment, GT Omega. Okay, nice. Car on the left. Clear on the um, left. So my apartment before I bought this house, I had a wheel stand and I, you know, they advertise them as, you know, oh, fold them up, put them out of the way. And it's like, yeah, but when you have all your gear on it, like it's such a pain in the ass to do that. <laughs> and so I ended up just, if I wasn't having anybody over, I was just leaving it in the living room. Right, mate, this is your last lap. And so, so you know, it's just in the middle of the floor, taking up space and everything. I don't know, especially if you have a significant other that lives with you there. Probably not the most thrilled with that. So that's why here I turned one of the... I turned this room into... This game slash office. Game room slash office. Which has allowed me to do this, so... But I 100% sympathize with uh, the wheel standing couch. Jesus. She's an interior designer. <laughs> yeah, she's probably not probably not a fan of a wheel stand sitting right in the room. Right in the middle of the room in front of the TV. Forzy came back and still finished in the top 10. We don't need to lose the car in the last corner. Does he still have to keep racing? I don't know. No, okay, he's finishing. Just realized I might have been in his way. All right, I'm interested to see what people think of that race because some people had. Well, two, I guess two people left other than you. I know you, you had your kid, so. Um, JB ended in second. He seems so mad about it that he crashed into the wall head on on purpose. JB, don't drive backward on the track and get disqualified, bro. JB, don't do it. 
JB, no! JB, you're gonna get disqualified! Oh, man. Uh, dude, I thought he was gonna get disqualified. I don't know how long you have to drive backward, but... <laughs> oh, man, that would have been bad. For some tea. Yeah, man. I, I've, I'm hoping it's not, like, just dumb incidents. I'm hoping it's... You know, but a lot of people got stop and goes for whoever hit the... Whoever hit the speed limit in the pit lane is going to be a wanted man. But that's why I always say, like, you should be practicing pit stop, figuring out where that is before the race. Um, so, yeah, accomplished what I wanted to once we qualified first, which was win the race and get the fastest lap. I've never done that before. So that's pretty sweet. Um, it's fair to say this car and Silverstone... Pretty much this car and tracks to start with S, because it was great on Spa, too. And, like, Audis took were the top four qualifying. So the Audi was... I think the Audi might just be a tiny bit overpowered on Spa, but... Um, but, yeah, in Silverstone, too, it seemed like... The V10s in general, because JB split me and Kipster up with the Audi. QR finished point oh six seven behind Kipster. Holy shit. That's wild. Uh, yeah, I got a PC, but it, uh, everything came in. I got the last PCIe cable I was waiting on. Uh, gonna be building it, um, not this next Saturday, but the one after that. I got a friend coming over, and we're gonna build it, and kind of do all the cable management and stuff. It's gonna be way easier with two people, because I'm probably gonna have to adjust the TV stand that I have. Um, adjust, possibly adjust some things so two people makes it way easier i'm hoping to be able to cut down on cords because a butt kicker green light, green light. Go, go, with the bucket it's hopefully it's gonna be nice but um but yeah everything is good to go on that so and then we have one more race with xbox so that way i can finish the xbox season uh, before i switch but yeah, I've talked to some people who have this wheel and moved to PC. They said on this wheel in particular, it's not like it's a little more detailed, but it's not insanely different. At least right now, now that we're on, you know, 1.8, whatever. Um, the, it, it drives it drives a lot better than it did before you switch to PC. It's just like. And a lot of that is the 1.8, but just certain things they fixed. Because, like, the Aston Martin was impossible to drive, and now it's fixed. The Alpine was impossible to drive. It's fixed. Um, so, I mean, X, right now, Xbox is in the best shape it's ever been in ACC. So, it's like, it's bittersweet to leave. But, um, but yeah, I just felt like it was time. Saved up for a while, and... Had the means, had the time, so. We'll be joining y'all in Season 6. I don't know when y'all Season 6 starts. I think you guys have two more races left. So, I think you guys do bigger breaks in between seasons than we do. Or at least it seems that way. But, um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be on Season 6. And, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, pace-wise, uh, how I end up. I'm hoping you guys get the the new GT3s before then. Like, I really want to do the first season in the 296 Ferrari, so that way I'm not starting on PC in a car I'm used to on Xbox and it feeling weird. I'd like to just start with a new car. But I have a feeling that's just wishful thinking. 90% complete in the top 10. Yeah, I told you, man. I, I said keep the top 10 streak going. You were in, like, fourth or sixth or something at one point until you got the stop and go. Like I said, whoever knocked out the speed limit sign is probably uh, probably got some wanted posters out in the Discord for them. But uh, yeah, I think that is going to be it for today. Um, I have a race tomorrow night with GTMR. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it or not. Um, if I am able to make it, I'll definitely stream. I uh, got 
plans like Sunday afternoon, so I don't know. I got other stuff I got to get done too, so we'll see. Um, and then Monday nights I'll be doing IXR uh, in a league, and that we're at Bathurst, Bathurst, that race. So that'll be that's always entertaining. Um, I don't know where where GT Mars racing tomorrow actually. Probably should figure that out. Cause yeah, I'm I'm worried I won't have time to practice, so I don't want to join in with zero practice in this car at least. But we'll see, we'll see. West Coast Night League, yeah. Ricky Muna is gonna win Daytona in what? He races in real life, right? This man, Frankie Muna, is that it was a child actor, then did nothing, and then all of a sudden is just like moonlighting. racing what is arca is that like nascar or stock car so i want to say i saw something about him um yeah stock cars interesting First race, and he's in the top five. That's pretty damn sweet. Is it... Do they do only ovals, or do they do road courses, too? All right, let me... I can't... I like the, the pit chatter that goes on, but when you hear the same thing over and over, it gets fun. So I'll have to go through the gallery, try to get some good screenshots. I actually remember to save a replay this time. So I've got a good 11 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to end it there. Like I said, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow night. I may not be, but I probably will. And then Monday night, I definitely will. Um, and you know what? I need to do... I still need to do Dirt Rally. <laughs> um, yeah, that that's a good point, actually. I'll, I'll go ahead and set the server up. That won't take me any time. So, I don't have anything else I gotta do today, really, so... Um, yeah, I'll get the server set up for Coda, and then... Yeah. Hopefully be streaming tomorrow night, and definitely will be streaming Monday night, so... Thank you for watching everyone, and I will get you guys next time.